Hi, it's Craig from Western Sales to show you an easy way to save your harvest information so it doesn't get lost. First step is to press the menu button and go to GS3. And then we're going to select resources. Once we select resources, we're going to check and make sure that we have client, farm and field selected, and task must show harvest. Please make sure that your year is selected to the current year. And then we're going to move over to the equipment tab. And the equipment tab is going to show a combine, which should be in gray. That means it's going to record. And you should have a name in each one of these machine model and machine name. And it also should say auto here. That means it's going to record. As soon as you press the one or two button on the hydro lever to lower the header down, it should start recording. Other steps we have to do first though is make sure that the header is selected with a name beside it. So you want to just put something in there, a model of some sort for your header in each one of these two blank spots here. And that will save the header settings on here. That if you have a 40 foot header, 40 foot width, it'll save your spacing of 39.5 or something like that. And it will have it all recorded for you. Okay, and then we're going to select also the document paper with a pencil there. And you must have harvest and new at the top. If it says other, select other and then remove it. You can only do harvest one thing at a time with harvest. And the new tab is always there. So, And you go to change crop settings. You must have a crop in here and a variety. If you don't have a variety, just put it in there select it and select new and accept and now when you go down to the menu button on the bottom right go to home and that should, button should be flashing red as soon as you press one or two in the hydro lever if you want to check that you could just go back to the mapping under gs3 and then we want to select map settings and go to uh, yield on the bottom there and accept and now when you switch back and forth between coverage and your uh, mapping, anything that's painting red or green or yellow or purple is your yield coming into the combine. Anything, if you switch back to blue, that's just coverage. So as soon as it's showing some colors as you're driving across the field, you're recording yield and moisture. Thanks and have a great day.